Hi, I'm Jacques Lebec. I am going to put on a video demonstration of how to put together the action sports grip made by Vivitar. It is made for cameras, for video cameras, and regular DSLR cameras. I looked through YouTube before I purchased it to see how to put all this stuff together. I did not find a video and that's what inspired me to step out of my niche and explain how to put it together. I recently purchased an HFR 800 Canon video camera. It is the uh, the least expensive in the line in the 800 line. The 82 and the 80 each have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and an internal memory. The HFR 800 does not. Transfer the videos with with the SD card by putting them in the side of my laptop. I prefer that anyways. It takes too long to dump it with a cable. So I bought the grip not knowing if I could put it all together. I bought the grip and this is what it came with. It's got a couple shoes with it and that's it. Um, and I also along with the grip I got the LED light kit. It comes with two lithium batteries and they're fairly compact and small with a charger. It slides right in. Now I charged both the batteries. This charger got really hot. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. It just got real hot. It's cool now. Um, I'm going to watch it. And the light has a whole array of LEDs in it. And it is actually quite bright. And I won't shine it at the camera. But it is really bright. And it came with a bracket. Came in a long bracket, um, and a shoe on it as well. I also bought the external microphone. The 800 has a port for the microphone, and it's a regular 3.5 coaxial cable connector, so it's real handy, and that's. That was my driving purpose in buying this camera. So I got the microphone. It came in a bubble pack as well, just like the LED light kit is. You know, th this stuff we love to hate, don't we? But it's a good way to pack its stuff. Came with the microphone and the windshield. Also, it has this little rubber shock on the bottom, and I think it's pretty cool. I like that. Takes one AAA battery. It goes right in the top. I hope you can see it. I don't think you can. Just slides in the top and then the cover slides right on and snaps into place. It also came with a bracket. It came with a short bracket. Shorter bracket. And uh, so I have chosen I've put it together and taken it apart quite a few times because it isn't hard, but it's a little confusing. And I, I'm i pretty mechanical, so I figured I could figure it out. The first thing you want to do is, and I'm using the long bracket, it, it, it's not much longer, it's a half inch or so. So I'm going to use it, but you have to take the uh, tightening nut off. I'm going to lay that aside. I will keep it because that's the kind of stuff I like to keep. Um, and it has a mount on the bottom of the grip. With an array of holes. I'm going to hold this closer to the camera. Hopefully you can see it. It's got a whole bunch of holes in there. And they go diagonally in it. Angles and everything else. So you got a whole bunch of options on how to mount actually any camera. I think it'll work on any camera. So what I did was I put it up in between two brackets, or I'm sorry, two holes, and then I'm going to snug this long bracket in. I'm going to leave it there. You want to get it 
to the point to where it's snug but it still moves and I'll show you why um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the camera and the camera has the uh, tripod mount in the bottom and that's where we're going to thread this onto they're all I believe quarter inch national course threads the thing that is a little bit awkward and it's not a like or dislike thing it's just a little strange is that you got to turn the camera to get this thing together and it's like okay that's all right I guess why not um, and you get to the point to where you got to kind of bend the bracket down just the taste to get it to get the camera to rotate all the way around snug it up and get it facing forward and I'm the type of person that has to have everything square the brackets a little bit out of square so I'll straighten it up that would that would actually drive me nuts so so I squared it up now I'll take the microphone and it has the mail if you can call it a mail it's a, it's a little bit of a weird deal but it's you know it's a we used to call them registers you know where you fit the uh, the bracket into the receiving end which is a female it just slides in and tighten the uh, adjuster see how it I like that vibrate I, I think it's going to eliminate a lot of uh, grinding noise and that sort of thing now to plug the uh, microphone in you got to open up the door and this is the type of camera that when you open up the uh, video screen the camera automatically turns on and it also has a cool little deal it tells you to open up the lens cover and uh, it'll tell you if the microphone is hooked up after you turn it on so I turn it on and there's a little bar underneath there that will give you your voice level that's the microphone and, and the light goes on the same exact way loosen it up slide it into the shoe tighten it snug it down a little bit and that's the whole assembly it's I like it I, I really like it I think it's gonna work well for that I figured it out now the other challenge that I had was I wanted to be able to record at a distance and I wasn't sure how well the audio would be with this microphone at a distance of more than just a few feet I'm using a uh, Bluetooth wireless with my um, camera that I'm using now it, it's uh, my cell phone and I, I don't like using it to make videos I, I don't know why a lot of people do I it just I just don't like it so what I did was uh, I bought a 20 foot extension cord for this for the microphone and I think that's gonna work just fine I'll be able to be 20 feet away and the camera has a zoom whatever I need to do at least the audio will be all together then the next challenge I had was okay now what are you gonna do with the microphone when you're when you're do, making a video are you going to just take it and um, lay it on the table which I don't think that would be too bad except that all the sound is going to come from one side whether or not that matters I don't know I'm not a camera guy I'm not a video guy or nothing so what I did was I have several of these little tripods and I put a shoe on there that came with one of these assemblies and I just slide the uh, microphone onto the shoe snug it up and then when I get ready to shoot a video I will set it on the table and I'll look 
little bit like Walter Cronkite <laughs> used to. <laughs> if you remember the, I don't know, if you remember the big uh, microphones. Uh, I think it's going to work just fine. I will set it out. And I, I, I don't really care if people see it or not. It doesn't matter. That's the whole assembly. I did end up with two spare parts. The one bracket, which I am very confident I will find a use for. This is the kind of stuff I hang on to and I do find a use for. This little thing here, it's a little machine screw. I can't figure out what it is and there's no instructions. It looks as if maybe it goes into the slots underneath the camera but I'm not sure what you do with it so that is the uh, that's how you put together the Vivitar action sports grip with the vid pro LED light and the vid pro remote microphone I haven't tried it yet I'm gonna put another video together um, maybe tonight or tomorrow with the microphone in this assembly on my tripod and uh, see how it works. I, I'm pretty excited. So I hope you learned how to put this together. I hope it helps you. Um, so with that, I'll end the video. And this is Jacques Lebec with EmergencyKitsPlus.com. I'll be seeing you on my next video. Thanks for watching.